we continue to track our winter storm and for a lot of this event temperatures are going to be really marginal meaning close to freezing or even a little bit above freezing and that can make a really big difference especially this time of year in early winter the sun angle is really really low so when the temperature is close to 32 degrees even light snow has no issue accumulating on roadways but we've got that higher sun angle here in March even in early March so if temperatures are near or slightly above above 32 degrees during the day on Saturday. It is going to have trouble accumulating after that sun starts building in the sky, and I think that will have an impact on how our Saturday will end up turning out. Now we can overcome the sun angle if it's cold enough or if you have a burst of heavy snow, but I don't think that's going to be the case heading into your Saturday. All right, let's take a look at what we know and what we're still trying to figure out the timing Friday night into Saturday. The fact that that we're going to get a little bit of snow, sleet and rain all possible. And then we mentioned about those borderline temperatures. Again, if we can get a burst of snow on the front side, that's our best chance at seeing that accumulating snow because after that it will be lighter heading into your Saturday. The exact timing of the changeover makes a really big difference to try to figure out how much snow ends up accumulating. And that's why this is kind of a tricky forecast. If the temperature is a degree or two too warmer or that transition happens sooner, we may get little or no accumulation across the state. But if it takes just an hour or two longer, that can make a really big difference too and we can get more. So I think this is kind of a good middle ground right now and check in tomorrow morning for any updates and throughout the day tomorrow as well. Overall, and I know someone's going to throw something at the TV for me saying this, this is a pretty good timing for a storm generally towards the tail end of the evening commute on Friday and into Saturday morning. I know you got stuff to do on Saturday. It's the weekend. Maybe a lot of you have plans, but definitely less of an impact than if if it was happening for a school day, for example. So starting to see things begin to pick up as we head into later tomorrow night after 7 to 10 p.m. Beginning is snow changing over to sleet and then rain for some. And then as we head into Saturday morning, the heaviest will be through the early part of the morning. Following that, we'll have lingering light rain and snow showers, which, as we just talked about, won't have a huge impact on the day. Temperatures are in the 30s to right around 40 degrees. We'll see overnight lows in the 20s to near 30 heading through the day tomorrow we're dry to uh, during the day we're dry all day with high temperatures that will be in the 40s we'll even start the day off with some sunshine but then we'll see clouds build in as we head through the afternoon here comes that snow developing between after 7 to 10 p.m quickly changing to rain at the shoreline, but it takes longer for inland areas. The pink representing those sleep pellets that are kind of bouncing all over the place. That burst in the morning gives way to those scattered light rain or snow showers as we head through the rest of the day. And here are those marginal temperatures I was talking to you about earlier. Overnight, we do get close to freezing, 33, 33, 34 for Willimantic, but heading into your Saturday, we start near or above freezing as we head through the day, and that's going to help us out a lot. Here's a look at those wind gusts heading into Friday night and Saturday morning, and I think that the highest wind gusts will be after you go to bed Friday night and just towards daybreak on Saturday morning. The second half of the weekend looks good. On Sunday, we're looking at highs in the mid 40s, upper 40s for your Monday chance for a shower on Tuesday, but overall a quieter weather setup heading into next week after a little bit of a busier weather pattern for a change, guys.